Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, live from Sandy, Utah, a beautiful Rio Tinto Stadium. I am Mr. LeCrow here with Melody and Friday, where I give little to no effort on these broadcasts. It is a muggy day here in Sandy, Utah, where we'll see Real Salt Lake's Real Salt Lake Singular. They'll be hosting the Seattle Sounders FC. Once again, hi everyone, this is Mr. LeCrow speaking to you live from Sandy, Utah. Here bringing you Will It On Friday, where I give little to no effort on these broadcasts. Thank you very much for watching on the YouTube channel. And for those of you following from Twitch on over to the YouTube, I greatly appreciate that as well. As you know, every Will It On Friday, every Friday at 9, there is a new video posted up, whether it be on Twitch and, on, and or YouTube, where I show you my broadcast of any video games broadcast that I do, basically. This week it is Seattle Sounders vs. Real Salt Lake in Rio Tinto Stadium. I do plan on changing video games, so please bear with me. We need this uh, season ends in about two months, so we'll go from there. Anyways, I may have skipped lineup, so I apologize for that. This is Seattle Saunders. There's your lineup right out there, the captain. Last week they went ahead and uh, came out 4 0. Did a clean sheet against Orlando City SC. Oba Femi Martins played in that game. As you can see, it's a different lineup here. There's only nine games left in the regular season. Can the Seattle Sounders score enough goals and get enough points to qualify the playoffs and make me make a d deep run in there? Simultaneously, Raw Salt Lake City, Raw Salt Lake. I'm sorry, for it's a bit. Raw Salt Lake will go ahead and try to make a nice run for the uh, for the MLS Cup playoffs. They're in the outside looking in as of right now at this moment. Match official Panto Sarrenthal from Sweden it's taking on this MLS matchup. Now we're just going to wait for him to blow the whistle and we'll have Andy Rose pass out to Valdez. There is the whistle and we are ready for the Seattle Sounders to take on Royal Salt Lake. Melon and Friday, hashtag Melon and Friday, from Rio Tinto Stadium in Sandy, Utah. Brad Evans has possession of the ball, pass, no, gets poked out by Scherzer. Checking into the midfield. And he's all alone. Look at that space. Tremendous amount of space. He just takes a shot at us in the back of the net. Real Salt Lake with an early lead. 1 0. This is quite amazing. Seattle Sounders were not prepared for that. Stefan Fry, very late reaction. Nonetheless, it's in the back of the net for a Real Salt Lake goal. Uh, we look to be in the four minute mark of this matchup. And they are indeed going to credit him for, for, for the more fourth minute. Unbelievable start for Real Salt Lake. Up in front of the Seattle Sounders, one goal to nail. The, whiff, whiff, the ref blows the whistle once again. It's Valdez now, poking it out, and Brad Evans has possession of the ball in the end of midfield. Look at all that space, but there are some red jerseys surrounding him. Brad Evans trying to pass it to Valdez, but Valdez is swarmed. Nonetheless, he still gets possession of the ball, and Vasquez pokes it out of his possession. And it's kicked out of bounds for Seattle Sounders throwing. Valdez only in his second MLS match for the Seattle Sounders. He came in and scored one goal last week against the Orlando City SC. Freiburg to Tyro Nears. Bit a little bit quiet as of late. Tomas packs it back to Freiburg. Back to Tomas. Enjoying his first MLS goal last week. He gets poked out. Referee blows the whistle. We all saw Lake with a quick free kick. No. Yes, there it is. Gill. Dribbles it on by himself in the far left of the field. You can see the puddles are coming up. Garcia was possession of the ball now for Real Salt Lake. Trying to turn it, he does so. But he gets poked up by Tyrell Mears to pass it back to Tomas. Tomas, the Brazilian, trying to get out of that area. And he does so. Andy Rose now with the ball. Passes it up to Valdez. Valer is surrounded by four, and he does a nice pass for Freiburg! No. No. No goal for Freiburg. Beautiful shot taken, but it goes above the net.
Earlier this year, Stefan Fry said to the Seattle Times that the hardest place to play was here in Sandy, Utah. And apparently the consensus is that it is indeed difficult to play. There are more rough fans there than they are in any other place. Quite interesting. Stefan Fry proven that he has gotten a bit weak since the starting of the match. So we'll see how the Seattle Sounders can pick it up. Tyrone Mir is now passes it to the other side of the field. Dylan Renner picks it up. On to Tomas. To Valdez. Valdez now to Brad Evans. The savior from the, the Scotiabank's CONCACAF Champions League match. Try to say that five times fast. Gavita trying to dribble his way into the middle of the field, but he's still in the far close post section of the field. Now he's near midfield. Still in possession of the ball, but it gets poked out by Thomas. Gavita still picks it up. On to Streiser, who has the first and only goal so far in the match. Silva on to Garcia. Garcia looking to cross it. Sneaks into the corner, corner edge of the box. He shoots! Stefan Fry saves it. Pokes it out. Freiburg picks up the loose ball. Kicks it out of the way. And Valdez is trying to chase it down. Garcia now with possession of the ball. Trying to find a good person to cross it to. Can't. Sneaks it in. Trying to dribble his way around, and Stefan Fry gets a goal for Real Salt Lake in the 27th minute of the match. 2 0 Real Salt Lake. This is unbelievable. He sneaks the rope. Oh, it was a bad, unfortunate bounce. Stefan Fry was close to blocking it. It just did a lucky bounce for for All Salt Lake. Into the back of the net for a 2 0 lead over the Seattle Sounders. Ref blows the whistle to commence the game. Andy rolls on to Freiburg. Now they're going to try to use the far edge of the box. Seattle Sounders wearing red green. Going left to right. Um, excuse me, right to left. Valdez now trying to dribble his way around the defender. Does so, but he meets up another defender. Fakes him out. Valdez now on the edge of the box. Short cross, but it gets poked out by Real Salt Lake. Starts her now. Dribbling in the far side of the field. Loses possession of the ball. No call, says the referee. Freiburg. Sturzer. To Gill. Gill surrounded by green jerseys, but Tyrell Mears picks up the loose ball. On to Brad Evans. Dribbling, trying to split defenders, but can't find anything. But he finds Andy Rose, he takes a shot, but no, far right. It's out for a Real Salt Lake goal kick. 35 minutes into the match. The Real Salt Lake City supporters. Excuse me, I keep calling him that. Force of habit, I apologize. Ron Salt Lake. Supporters. Trey Chanaway, you can hear some Emerald City supporters chanting as well. Gets poked out. Andy Rose picks up the loose ball. Pass on to Lamar Nagel. Lamar Nagel now. To Valdez. He gets tripped up at a penalty. And he rough points to the spot. It is a penalty for Seattle Sounders. And an immediate red card! Elias Vasquez has been shown a direct red card! Let's take a look at the replay! Tackles inside the box. Oh, yes! You saw that there was a dirty tackle! Uses both legs to clip Valdez's left leg! Ross Salt Lake does an immediate substitution for another defender! Could this be a substitution in too soon? Salcedo's coming out. 
They're trying to recover here. Well, meanwhile, Seattle Sounders are ready for the penalty kick. Is the rain going to affect them? Lamar and Nagel taking the penalty. Measures. Gung. He should fire that in. Picture perfect penalty right there. It takes a hesitation step. Goalkeeper looks like he was ready for it, but he wasn't ready for that. And it's now Royal Salt Lake 2, Seattle Sounders 1 with that penalty kick by Lamar Nagel. Very controversial call. In my opinion, that was a straight red. Royal Salt Lake down to 10 men. Garcia now. Passes on to Sturster. Silva with possession of the ball. Five minutes out of stoppage time here in the first half. Don't know if he's trying to waste time here or if he's trying to find a good opening. The service goes on and gets deflected by Seattle Sounder. It's going to be a throw in Real Salt Lake. Garcia in the edge outside the box. Dribbling around, set penalty area, and now he lets himself in. But he gets poked out by Zach Scott. Andy Rose picks up the loose ball. Trying to dribble between three defenders. Valdez now, he's coming at hot. Waiting for support. Valdez coming out of the edge of the penalty area. Shoots, fires, and it's in the back of the net for Valdez. That's his second MLS goal. We are at level. Beautiful shot taken, draws out the goalkeeper, knows exactly when to shoot, finds the back of the net. We are on level with two goals each between Seattle Sounders and Real Salt Lake here in the first half. What an amazing turn of events. Four goals scored in the first half. Sandoval to Garcia and to Sturzer. And the referee blows the whistle to end the first half. What an amazing first half this is, folks. Seattle Sounders 2, Real Salt Lake 2. Those two scores, two goals scored by Seattle Sounders were unanswered. Guys in the studio, take it away with some highlights of this match. Scoreline reads 2-2, we all saw Lake and Seattle Sounders tied. Two unanswered goals from Seattle Sounders, and you can see most of the zeros are very valuable for the Seattle Sounders. Yellow cards, red cards, injuries, offside corners. One red card, one foul, three tackles. Raw Salt Lake leads to possession. Shots on target, three even. 5-3 on shots alone. 
Seattle Sounders scoring two goals in the last three minutes of the half, making this even 2-2. Two, two. Hi again everyone, this is Mr. LaCroix talking uh, here for Midland and Friday where I give little to no effort in the production of these games. Now we're going to go ahead and start the second half here in Rio Tinto Stadium in Santa Utah. As you can see, the rain is still coming down. Sandoval picks up the ball and passes it to Garcia. Rain is, uh, wow, you can't really, you can tell the puddles are there with the feet stomping, the rubber, the balls are dribbling. Nice save of Stefan Fry. Trying to do the same play as from earlier from Garcia's goal, but it didn't come out too good. Look at the puddles following Phillips. Phillips going around the area. Finds himself in the penalty area. Trying to walk the tie rope, but it gets poked out by, poked out by Seattle Sounders. Freiburg picks up the loose ball now. Freiburg, long pass to Valdez. Valdez now, trying to find a way around his defenders. Valdez dancing the far edge of the field. Then he looks like to be crossing it over. No, fakes the cross. Still dribbling. Gets lost by Sturzer. I'm sorry about that. I couldn't find my words there. Starts right now, trying to find, fend off defenders, and it does so. Far side of the field, into the penalty area, same play as Garcia's, but no! Chuck finds himself in the side of the netting, and it's out for a Seattle Sounders goal kick. Raw Salt Lake looked to be playing a 1 2, I'm sorry, a 4 2 2 1 here after that red card. And uh, here comes Tyler Mears. Folks, I'm getting word by my producer that some of the feed has been cutting off, and we sincerely do apologize. This is from the heavy rain that's been non stop here at Sandy, Utah. Loose ball. Scott picks it up now for Seattle Sounders. Scott still with possession of the ball. Midfield. Passes on to Tomas. Tomas now. Trying to split the fan, but he finds Dylan Remick on the overlap. Remick finds himself in the penalty area. Tomas picks up the loose ball. Still inside the penalty area, he shoots! No! Grazes the side of the net, and it's out for Real Salt Lake corner. I'm sorry, a goal kick. We have a substitution now. Jaime will be coming in for Sandoval. Kavita to Gil. Gets poked up by Freiburg, who picks it up. Small counter attack. Andy Rose is calling for it, but he's offside. Back pass to Rose, but he loses it in the penalty area. Oh, dangerous ball there, but no. Goalkeeper picks it up. Adanella throws it up to Kavita. Kavita. To Glad. Glad now. Who's possession by Brad Evans? Brad now. To Tomas. Tomas now. Trying to find some sort of opening in space. Freiburg picks up the ball. Back to Tomas. Trying to set up something here. Tyrone Mears picks it up in the near side of the field. To Evans. Trying to turn, but he loses possession. Valdez. He shoots. Oh, a little bit too left. Valdez with a short chip in. Tomas. Shoots it too, slightly too far to the left. It's out for Ross Alec. We have a double substitution. Kyle Becker will be coming in. 
Andy Rose is coming out for Seattle Sounders. Silva's coming out for Ross Salt Lake. In comes Kyle Beckerman. Andy Rose is coming out. I'm trying to see who it is. Looks like it was Gonzalo Pineda that was coming in. No, it's Christian Roldan. He's coming in for the Seattle Sounders. Give it an out. Start, sir. Evans. To Tyrone Mears. Mears now. Trying to find something here. Christian Roldan is still in front of him, but he's not coming inside of the box. Tyrone Mears still dribbling. The serve is inside, but no, it gets poked out. Jaime now. Just trying to get the ball, but Chad Marshall was there to pick it up. Tyrone Mears, quick pass on to. Needs to be Tomas. Picks up the loose ball that was deflected. Trying to find someone here, and it's offside. Valdez took a step too many. As you can see right here, there's that offside. Cavita now. An overhead pass to Akuandu. On to Garcia. Garcia. Near side of the field, walking a tight rope. He's waiting for support. He's inside the penalty area now. He's going to take a shot at Stefan Fry with a beautiful save. And it gets poked out for a real Salt Lake corner kick. And Garcia will take the corner kick for Ross Salt Lake. He shoots. There's the service inside of the penalty area, but he gets poked out. Brad Evans picks up the loose ball. He's all alone, 1v1 and near the midfield. Waiting for support. Ross Salt Lake catches up to him, though. And he uncharacteristically loses the ball. It's out for Ross Salt Lake. Throw in. Brad Evans now will be coming out. Victor Mansarai will be coming in for him. Ross Salt Lake loses the throw in to Thomas. On to Matarai. Matarai to Dylan Remek. He's inside the penalty area. Pass it to Matarai. Shoots! Sounds in the back of the net! Seattle Sounders. Now that's three goals that are unanswered. Beautiful pass. Matarai has just come in the game for Brad Evans and now he was able to score a goal. It's first of the MLS season. 3 2 in favor of the Seattle Sounders. He gets credited with his 86 minute goal. We're also late down by a goal here at Rio Tinto Stadium in Sandy, Utah. Jaime with the poke to Garcia, and Garcia is going to try to dribble his way into the penalty here for a goal. No, passes it back to Jaime. Jaime now. On to Garcia. Garcia now with possession of the ball. On to Beckerman. Kyle Beckerman is coming in. On to Jaime. Jaime. Dribbling in and out of the penalty box. He's inside now. Near the penalty spot. Shoots. Stefan Fry blocked it. Loses possession of the ball. Royal Salt Lake was right there. For an immediate rebound and a score. That's not going to come as easy as it looks. Royal Salt Lake ties it. 3-3. Garcia with the second goal of the game. Ruff blows the whistle now. Here we go. Valdez now. Trying to dribble it in. He finds himself inside RSL field. Five minutes out of stoppage time. Valdez now trying to cross it, but he has no support. It's coming in a bit too late. Crosses too far. Andy Rose loses the ball. Beckerman now dribbling on the far side of the field. Beckerman still dribbling. Still coming into the penalty area. 
Long cross, Stefan Fry catches it. What a rainy and muggy, dirty game this has been, folks. Now I'm just talking about the weather. Manzarai now loses possession of the ball. Ref blows the whistle to end the match at a 3 all. It is another draw for the Seattle Sounders. What a game that was. Two goals in the last five minutes. Let's take it to the boys in the studio with some highlights. Boys, take it away. Final scoreline is 3 all Raw Salt Lake over Seattle Sanders. There's only your final stats of the game and this draw. This is Melody Friday, where Mr. LaCroix, that is myself, give little to no effort on these broadcasts. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to join us next week when we see a Cascadia matchup rivals. Seattle Sanders, Portland Timbers from Century Link Field for another edition of Melody Friday. This has been Mr. LaCroix, and you've been watching it here on my YouTube channel. Go, don't forget to follow us on YouTube. Check all the status and updates. Listen to my podcast. Look at my previous broadcast. I will see you next week for Mail It In Friday, where I give a little to no effort of these broadcasts. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you all next... Nope. We'll see you all on the other side.